Hello, peoples. Hey, a friend of mine was asking me the other day what I carry with me when I go sketching. She said she wanted to do some more sketching on location. And then we just had a quick conversation. Well, it was actually a pretty in-depth conversation about what kind of stuff we carry. And she wanted to know more what I carry. So I thought, well, I'd make a quick video uh, about what I carry to show you what I carry when I go sketching on location. So first and foremost... I have my phone with me everywhere I go. So if I go out on location, if I go out someplace and I want to sketch and I decide I want to start sketching, I can pull my phone out and I can, well, I, you know, I can tap that right there and I have a sketchbook on here. There we go. You still can't see it, but I can sketch whatever I want on my phone wherever I go. So first and foremost, this is this is what I have because I always have my phone with me. But nine times out of ten, if I have my phone with me, I'm just going to take a picture of whatever I wanted to sketch and I'm going to sketch it later. Um, I started a long time ago. I got this Prismacolor sketchbook, and what I like about this Prismacolor, uh, what I like about this Prismacolor thing, I don't even know if they still make it, uh, but it's got a snap you can put you can put business cards right there you can open it up and you can look inside here it's got a sketchbook inside there uh, and I you know I've sketched in here my daughter's sketched in here uh, I haven't used this in a very long time but you can I swapped the Prismacolor pencils out for watercolor pencils and I had a, a pencil sharpener stuck in here and I had an eraser stuck in here as a matter of fact I think yeah here's the eraser I put some I put some velcro on an eraser so that the eraser could could travel in there and I had some ink pens and stuff to go with it and water brush to go with it and that, you know, that made it that made it pretty nice I could do some I could do some color work when we went out sketching and have and have a good time with that but uh, I don't I don't even know why I stopped carrying this other than I started making uh, I started making uh, uh, custom things like uh, this CD case. I took this CD case and modified it so that it has inside it. This is the strap from it. And when I went to make this video, the there's the there's a ring on this side, but the ring on this side came out. So when I went to make this video, I, I was going to show you all of that, but that all the glue came out of it, and I'll show you where the glue was. Uh, it, was it was glued right there. And, and so I took the CD case, and I took out all the CD holders, and I added in uh, a little watercolor kit. Uh, this is a little Koi watercolor kit. I refilled this with Koi watercolors. So this is a little Koi watercolor kit. I put some Velcro on the bottom there, and I've got a little water brush. Except this water brush is full of ink because because it's only here for demonstration. But uh, it fits right inside there. The Velcro's in, and then I bought these. I bought a case of these clasps so that I could clip a sketchbook in there, and I can open this up. And see, and then I can I can just hold it like this while I while I paint. Uh, Let's see if you can get a better view of that. I can just hold it like this while I paint. Uh, so that's that's. I started carrying this because I could carry this on my motorcycle. It was really easy to carry this on my motorcycle. I'm gonna take that ink pen out before it, ink brush pen out before it, it uh, spills in there. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. And then I have uh, this kit that. I carry around with me. Uh, I bought this case at Barnes and Noble, and just this little bag here, at Barnes and Noble. And I like this because I can put this. I keep this in the the uh, center console of my of my uh, truck of my of my SUV. And in this in this, it's got. I have a a little sketchbook where I've done. You know, I just take this out, whatever whatever photo reference I want to use off my phone, or sometimes it's whatever I can see in front of me. You know, whatever I want to draw, I just I can draw it because I got this nice little sketchbook here. I've got some watercolor pencils. I have a notebook if I want to 
if I want to write notes about stuff, you can see I've had an ink pen link. I've had an ink pen leak on my notebook. But I've got this notebook here, and then I carry in my little bag. I have several pens and stuff that we're going to talk about. I have a water brush. I have a Pentel uh, Pentel ink brush that I really like. I have refills for the Pentel ink brush. I have a fountain pen. This is a medium tip fountain pen. Uh, no, this is the fine tip fountain pen. This is an ultra fine tip fountain pen. This is a, a medium tip fountain pen. This was my actually my first fountain pen and I love this fountain pen. So I carry those around to sketch with. Uh, and then I have a I have a uh, pencil a lead holder with uh, 4B lead in it so I've got a I've just got that lead holder with 4B lead in it and then I have a sharpie and then I have this little heavy duty bottle with ink in it and some paper towels and that's important because invariably the tips on your fountain pens will dry while you're out before you get a chance to use it again so you just empty your fountain pen refill your fountain pen they're all water soluble so the, the ink is water soluble so once it refreshes it 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 goes right back in uh, it starts working again with no problems and so I like this little case I bought this little case at, at Barnes and Noble and I like it because it fits right into the console of my the center console of my SUV but it also fits I'm gonna, I keep these because when I refill my ink pen, when I fill, refill my fountain pens, I have to wipe the ink off, so I keep those in there too. Uh, but this this is convenient if I go to if I go to Bombshells or Twi or or uh, someplace like Twin Peaks or Hooters to, to sketch. This is this is really handy to have, but it fits. You know, at the very least, if you're going to go sketching, you need a sketchbook, and so uh, you can just use a sketchbook. And, and I've got a I've got a, a five millimeter mechanical pencil. I like this mechanical pencil because the way this one works is you put when you put pressure on it, it's got a spring inside there. When you put pressure on it, the tip turns. So you always have a sharp point. Every time every time you put the tip down, uh, every time you pick the pencil back up, the, the tip turns a little bit so that you always have a sharp point. And I like that. And then I just get some I just get some uh uh, 5B uh, I just get some 5B I'm sorry 4B lead to put in there and then that way it uh, it'll get as dark as I want or as light as I want it's real handy that way so I like that fountain or not fountain but, but I like that mechanical pencil and then um, I can it does no, the downside is it doesn't have any eraser so I have this I have this uh, nylon eraser this is just you get this at Walmart. It's a little Pentel eraser, but it's got a nylon eraser in it, and that that's handy. And it just you know, and then you can just clip those in your sketchbook and take your sketchbook around with you everywhere you go. But that's you know that's a little cumbersome. Pens fall out. Uh, you, you know you have to be kind of careful with that. So then I have this messenger bag, and the nice thing about the messenger bag is I can carry extra pens and pencils in the in the messenger bag. And that the sketchbook fits in the messenger bag, and I don't have to worry about I don't have to worry about losing my pens or pencils. And then the the uh, uh, Barnes and Noble kit fits right inside there. And so now I'm ready for uh, you know if I'm going to go to the zoo or if I'm going to go uh, if I'm going to go someplace for a couple of hours, I've got just about everything I need to go for a couple of hours and that that's really nice when you're going to go out and you can take you can just take everything with you just throw it over your shoulder and you know it'll ride on your motorcycle with you or it'll sit next to you in the car or on the bus or whatever so that's that's uh, that's really nice to carry that stuff around with uh, and and you've got all your fountain pens and you've got all your paper and stuff with you but the other thing if I'm going to go out all day if I'm going to go if I'm going to go out to, if I know I'm going to be at the zoo all day long, though, I will take this uh, shoulder bag 
it's it, you can tell it's seen some wear. I like this shoulder bag a lot. It um, it holds a it holds a bigger sketchbook. Uh, it, it holds a, this has got a nine by twelve sketchbook in it. I have uh, band aids and stuff for when I get a little first aid kit. I've got uh, some Mio to add to my bottle of water when I take my bottle of water with me. But usually when I'm going to do that, I just take the contents of this bag and I transfer it over. A lot of times I've been keeping this one in the back of my truck. So I just put this one in the back of my, not in the, not in the bed of the pickup, it's an SUV. So I just put this one in the, in the back of the SUV. And then if I'm going to go to the, if I know I'm going to go to the zoo, the, uh, or, or someplace where I'm going to spend all day and I'm going to sketch, then I'll take this case and before we go in, I'll transfer what I need out of this one. And I can just, you know, at that point, you can just grab the, the, the Barnes & Noble thing and slide it down in there. But this one has um, the pocket on the outside where, if I can get it open, you know, I've got sandpaper to sharpen the the uh, lead holder. I've got a lead holder with 4B. I've got a red. Uh, I've got a, a, a red Prisma color in there. I've got a nylon eraser. I've got a, a dark black charcoal that keeps breaking because it's not really made for that. I've got some spare leads. I've got a, a white paint pen that is broken. <laughs> Tells you how often I use that, huh? So uh, this stuff. This stuff makes it really easy. Being able to have these extra pockets already loaded like this makes it really easy. Being able to have that heavy bottle of uh, ink that so I can refill my fountain pens on the fly, uh, recharge my fountain pens on the fly. Uh, that in that little pouch keep keeps it uh, from spilling, keeps it from breaking, keeps it from getting all over stuff. So it makes it really convenient to carry with me. And those are the things. Now, if I know I'm going to watercolor and I know I'm going to be out there all day and that's specifically what I'm going for, I'm going to a site specifically to draw or paint or sketch, then I'll use the backpack. That I, And I'll put a link to that video uh, where you can see what's in that, uh, what's in the backpack. So that's, that's it. If you're going to go out sketching, the very minimum you need is a sketch pad and a pencil uh, or you if you've got the, the if you've got the means get a smartphone with a stylus and you can you can sketch out a lot of people just use their finger but I don't like to do that uh, but then there's all these, all these different kits and I've modified stuff I made a book I was going to show you I made a I made a, a out of a planner with with a, it had a zipper and it's got fountain pens in it. it's a pencil sharpener eraser the sketchbook the whole thing it's been so long since I've used it I, I can't figure out where it is cuz I started using this and I quit using that and now I don't even know where it is but at the very least a sketchbook and a pencil but it, I find that having it pre sorted pre made up you've already got your plan of what you're going to carry makes it a whole lot easier to uh, go do what you're going to do if you if you don't make that plan in advance and then what you end up with is you're sitting here trying to think, well, I'm going to go sketching, but, uh, you know, I don't have the things. I just, I, I'll just go. I'll sketch some other time. And I, I don't want to, I don't want to go around and I want to gather all the stuff. But if you've already got the stuff gathered up and you've already got it in a convenient place, like in the, in the console between your truck, then you, you can just have it there ready to go. And it's, it's so much easier. It makes it, uh. It, it encourages you to do it. It gives you the, it gives you the encouragement. There's that brush pen. I looked all over for that brush pen to put in that kit instead of that ink, instead of the one filled with ink, and it was sitting right there. So that means I had it out earlier to put in the kit, and then I didn't put it didn't put it away. It's important to clean up after yourself, but I obviously have not been doing that very well either. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, if you've got a different kind of kit, let us know in the comments below. And let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you watching. Be sure and tune in next week for whatever I do then. <laughs> Peace out.